Hey, Ken, come here. What? Look what I found at one of those coloring book websites. Wow, Kara would love that. We should use the image for her birthday card. So what are we going to do? Cut it out and just color it in with our markers or something? No, silly. We got the new Cricut Explorer. We don't have to use that. We can use this. Whoa! Hi, and welcome to another How To by Crafts by Two. I'm George. This is the first video in our coloring book SVG series. There will be a total of three of them, steadily getting more advanced on how to edit SVGs. In the following video, I'll show you how to take a simple coloring book page and turn it into a great SVG file that you can cut on your electronic cutting machine. We will be using the free application Inkscape. For more information, check our website. We hope you enjoy the series. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a coloring book page, either out of a coloring book or off the internet. If you find one in a coloring book, you're going to have to scan it into your computer. If you find one on the internet, make sure you find one that is royalty free and that you only use for personal use, never for commercial use. Respect the rights of the artists. I found one online of Marvin the Martian. So that's the one that I'll be using. In Inkscape, you're going to open the image that you downloaded or scanned in. To do this, you go to File, Open, browse to the location of your file, and select it. And then click the Open button. Another dialog will open asking you if you want to link or embed the image. You always want to link it. Then click the OK button. Now that you have your image opened, we're going to choose to create a path outline. To do this, you select the image, you go to Path, and choose Trace Bitmap. This will open the Trace Bitmap window. Depending on what your image is and how light the lines are will determine the settings for this window. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's what I had to do for this one. I found that keeping it on brightness cutoff and putting the threshold at 8 gave me the best outline for this particular coloring page. So once you've experimented and found out what best works for your image, click OK. You can close this window. Now you've created your path outline. If you click on it and move it around, you can see that it's a vector outline of what your rastered image was. I usually keep the rastered image around. I usually make it a little bit smaller and put it over to the side because when you're coloring, you're going to want to know what is exactly where. The next thing you want to do is break the path outline apart. This will give you the separate layers that you need for creating the image out of paper. To do this, you go to the path menu again and select break apart. Oh no, everything's turned black. That's okay. These are all the layers, just one on top of the other. And for right now, they're all just black. Now using the select tool, which is this arrow, or the node edit tool, which is this arrow down here, you can select the individual parts of your coloring page to color them so you better know where things are and what they'll look like on your finished, finished image. We've personally found that the node edit tool is easier to use because once you select it and you pass over different parts, you can see exactly what they are for a second so you know what you want and where you want to color it. Warning! When you're using the Select tool or the Node Edit tool, be very careful not to move any of the pieces around. So let's go ahead and I'll start coloring this image. So this particular area of the image, I don't really want to cut that out because I think it's going to be too small on my final image and I don't think it's very important to the overall image. So I'm going to delete it. The quickest way to delete it is to just hit the F1 key, which will switch you back to the arrow or the selector tool and then hit delete.
So by moving your cursor around, you can see what other points that you haven't colored in yet. These are two sections that I don't really feel I need. So I'm going to select them, hit the F1 key, and delete. Then if you go back to the Node Edit tool, you can see that they've been removed. Then you're just going to want to run your cursor over everything and make sure that you've colored everything that you want or removed everything. And he has eyebrows in this particular picture. And I'm going to draw those in, I think, with maybe a gel pen. So I'm going to select both of his eyebrows, hit F1, and delete. That way they won't be cut out. So I'm pretty sure I got everything. There's my Marvin the Martian. I select the original bitmap or raster graphic, and I delete it. Go to File, Save As. Type my name in. Select plain SVG and save it. That's it. I've created my first SVG file from a coloring book page. So let's open up Design Studio. Go to File, Create New. Select Upload Image, say Vector Upload, browse to the location of your SVG file, select it and say Open. Type in your image name and any tags that you want here and click Save Image. When you go back to the Upload Image panel, select Marvin. and say insert images. There's the SVG that we just created. Let's make them a little bit bigger. So I'm going to cut him at four inches. There you go. If you click go, you'll see how the SVG is broken down into your individual mats by color. So see how you can take a simple image and make it into an SVG file? That wasn't so simple. Do you see all those little parts? All right, you make a good point, Ken. So when you guys make your SVG from coloring book pages, we suggest for beginners, you start with things that have pretty big areas. Don't go for anything small. When you bring it into Cricut Design Studio, unless you're cutting it at 12 inches, those are gonna be pretty tiny little pieces. So what are we going to do in Coloring Books 201? I'm going to show you how to do some editing to combine layers. So you don't have to have a layer on top of a layer on top of a layer. You can just punch through and show the bottom layer color. That sounds interesting. So remember to like us on Facebook and to give our videos a thumb up if you enjoy them. And don't forget to subscribe so you can catch that 201 video coming up soon. Until we post our next video, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.